But thanks be to God, which give us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to let you know you got victory today. Amen. Let me let me let me let me let me drill down to that. You you had victory yesterday because you made it here today. Amen. And, and if the Lord don't don't come tonight and you wake up tomorrow, guess what? You wake up with victory. You need to look at it like that. You wake up with victory. Yesterday was victory because you made it today. Amen. Tomorrow's going to be a victory if God don't call us home because you made it till tomorrow. Amen. Amen. So, so thank God for victory. That has to be our attitude, mother. That has to be our mantra. That I come in here, that I've got victory in Jesus. When I step in here, when, when God allows me to step into anything, then I step into that thing in victory. I step into that with the power of God, knowing that I'm going to overcome what I'm about to face or what I could possibly go through. Amen. So I thank God for victory. I look at that as continuous. It's continuous. It's not one time. Huh? God, don't, don't lose battles. Show me a show of hands where God lost a battle for you. I didn't think I'd see any go up today. God don't lose battles. Huh? He don't lose fights. Huh? He can get any fight and won't lose that fight. He can't lose. That's not in his repertoire. That's not even a part of his vocabulary. Losing is not a word that he uses. Huh? Losing is not that. We may lose people. We may lose things. But we don't lose the battle because we got Jesus Christ. Amen. We still win because he gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. He still gives us that. That has to be in our mindset. It has to be a part of the way we think. Yes, I'm going through. What's well, the hand the word she wouldn't say? I'm going through that. But I'm coming out. God don't make an entrance way and don't provide a way of escape. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He don't make an entrance into something and don't allow you to come out of something. He don't keep you locked in no, he that you can't get out. Mm -hmm. I think the word said, I'll make a way of an escape. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Some of us got to escape. Thank you. Thank you. God, the things that bring us down. Hallelujah. God didn't put you there to keep you there. You got to find the escape. Amen. And it's through Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. I got victory today. I don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you're allowing the, some of the things that have come upon you to weigh you down. But, but I got a scripture for that. It says lay aside every weight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if it gets a little weighty, hallelujah, you got to know how to give it to Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a great bodybuilder. Yeah. He can lift the weight off of you. Hallelujah. If you're too weighted down, he can take it from you. Hallelujah. Because nothing's too hard for God. Hallelujah. Man is impossible. If a man is impossible, but for God, there is nothing impossible to God. Amen. No matter where you at. No matter where you at. He can reach you. Huh? No matter where you at. Mother's concerned about a granddaughter in Texas. God's already there. Amen. Let me say it again. Huh? He already there. Amen. Why are you thinking about it? He's already setting up comfort shelter for her before she get there. Because you prayed about it. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Tell somebody I'm coming out. I'm coming out. And this ain't about the closet. Amen. <laughs> Hey. This ain't about the clocks. Let's just get it right. I ain't, I ain't talking about that. I'm straight. Say hi, baby. That's my wife back there. But, I, but, but I'm coming out. Exodus 15. This is the Exodus package. This is ex you leaving, bro? Mm -hmm. Huh? You already left. Mm -hmm. You already left your situation. Because God has brought you out. Amen. When you didn't think you could get out. Looked like the waves was overcoming over, over your head and you, you couldn't make it. You felt like you're drowning. Anybody ever felt like that? Hallelujah. Oh, 
Huh? Feel like you're drunk. Just, just not. Just can't get there. Can't catch my breath. Hallelujah. When I look to the left, I look to the right. It's just overcoming trouble all around. But God, God. is a way maker. I said God is a way maker. God makes ways out of no way. He makes the way. Thank you, Lord. So we're leaving. You don't need to stay where you're at no more. You don't need to be where you're at no more. God is making a route. They don't have detours. Huh? God is about to take you on a journey for you to leave your past behind. He's about to leave it behind. He's making that way for you because he has plans for you. He says, I know the thoughts. I know the thoughts. I might not think about you at all, but I know the thoughts of God that I think toward you. I do believe that's Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the thoughts. I know how I feel when a mother don't think about you. But God is thinking about me. I may not cross your prayer register. You may not have me in your prayer vocabulary, but God. He's thinking about me. I'm on his mind. Hallelujah. And while you sleep, he doesn't. Because he said in Psalms 121, he never sleeps. No slumber. It's time to leave. Huh? And you got to go. And it says here, I'm, I'm going to read, I'm going to skip around, but I'm going to try to stay in Exodus. It says, verse 1, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord. Saints of God, we got to start singing. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to come in with a song. Why? Because he just washed up your whole past in the previous verse. In the previous chapter, he just took up everything that they was going through. Everything, everything that was bothering them. All the, the Egyptians that followed them. Don't you know the devil still want to chase you even though you're trying to change? The devil still going to pursue you. The devil still going to come after you. But, but, but God washed them up and washed them away all at one time. He can handle it all. So they came out of Egypt. He thought he had him entangled in the wilderness position. You know, sometimes the devil want to make you feel like you're in a position of entrapment where you can't find. That's why I said God will make a way out of no way. But he's trying to make you feel right now that you're entrapped in bondage. Trying to make you feel that you're entrapped leaving what you left behind. Trying to make you feel you can't go no further. He wants you to give up. Oh, but I hear the scriptures say, those that wait upon the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord. You might be in a waiting condition, hallelujah. But that's not a forgetting condition. You may be in a waiting state of mind. But God ain't forget about you. I never leave the, I never seen the saints forsaken. Never seen the righteous forsaken. Never seen the church forsaken. Never seen the people of God forsaken. He's not going to forget about you. Those that wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Right now I'm waiting. Hallelujah. For the Lord to come through. I'm waiting for God to tear it down. I'm waiting for God to open up the door. I'm waiting for God to make my way. Hallelujah. But you gotta wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Patience is one of the spiritual gifts in the New Testament. And one of the hardest ones to deal with. I don't know about you. But I like microwave popcorn. Hallelujah. Why? Because it pops uh, faster. Because that's the way the society has made us to think. Uh, 
and view things. I, I wanted to pop quick. I, I ain't got time to jiffy pop it and shake it uh, and see if it's going to fill it up. Hallelujah, I want it now. So hallelujah, I go get something that microwaves it. <laughs> Microwave blessings don't always come. gotta wait. Why are you waiting? You should sing. And sing a song unto God. What's your song? I don't sing your song, mother. Because my song is not your song. But if we all came in here with our song, if we all came in here with a praise on our lips that God has done something, somebody got a song. Everybody should be singing. Everybody should be praising. Why? Everything that had breath, hallelujah, but to praise the Lord. If God breathed in what he deposited that day, you should get back. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. What he deposited in your soul today, you should reach down and give that back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the praises of my people go up. When the praises go up, when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Hallelujah. You're looking for a blessing. God is waiting on your prayer. Hallelujah. You're looking for a blessing. And God is waiting on a prayer. God wants you to give him the glory. I didn't say it was easy. I didn't say it was challenging. But he wants you to give him the praise. You had a breakthrough this uh, Give him the praise uh, and the glory. Sing a song that God gave you. Thank you. You looking for deliverance? He waiting to hear praise. Huh? You looking for healing? He said, I am the Lord God that healeth thee. That's in his word. He said, I am the Lord God. I won't have any of this to follow you. But I need to pray. Uh -huh. I need to hear it. I need to hear a thank you. I need to hear a magnify. I need to hear a glorify. I give you the praise. Hallelujah. Stay here to the breakthrough. Oh my God. Breakthrough is coming, but stay there. Stay there till it comes. God already took care of the problem, but he want to praise. He want to praise. He want to praise. He want to pray. He want to praise. He want to hear you say something. It ain't got to be Greek. Hallelujah. He translate, but it ain't got to be Hebrew. Hallelujah. It just got to come from the heart. Oh, hallelujah. It just got to come from the heart. Hallelujah. It just got to come from the depth of your soul, the pain that you feel, the discouragement that you're going through. Hallelujah. But you can tell God, I'm tired. I'm tired. Hallelujah. He'll give it to you. With my mind, my mind. Amen. I'm not trying to leave this with my mind. We got to go back to the enemy's camp. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, and take what the devil, hallelujah, stole from you. Yes, but we got to go back. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I need some soldiers yes, yes. that put on the whole armor of God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. We're going to take back. Yes, yes. We're going to take back our children. Yes, yes. Oh, We're going to take back the streets. We're going to take back sickness. We're going to pull them out. Hallelujah. Why? Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. You're a soldier for God. You better stand up. Get on your feet. Walk your chest out. Get your praise on. Get in the glory. Get in the armor. I'm coming back to get my stuff. Hallelujah. And God gave it to me. And you can't have it in the name of Jesus. Let's step out, church. Let's step out, church. Let's go back and get it. Let's go back and get it. Let's go back and get it. Put on that horn, my God. And go back and get it. Go back and get it. And your spirit.
spiritual mind and your sanctified soul from the depths of your belly call on the name of Jesus and declare hallelujah that Lord you said your word is going out and it will not come back Lord I'm coming to get what the devil stole from me I'm coming to get my joy I'm coming to get my mind I'm coming to get my peace I'm coming to get my hope I'm coming again. I'm coming again. Hallelujah. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We're two or three in heaven. And God is in the midst. If you're with me, we're getting it. Hallelujah. We're going to take it back. I'm not staying like this. I'm not staying here. He didn't intend for me to be here long. He just let me pass through. That's what the wilderness was about. You don't stay in the wilderness. You pass through that. And you pass through it with confidence. Huh. You better start walking like this. Like I know I'm here. See, the devil wants you to walk like this. I can't make it. It's too hard. It won't happen for me. The devil is a liar. liar. Huh? He didn't die for you to be Debbie Downer. Huh? That the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now for the young people, what you don't understand and what I didn't inject is that the baptism is, a, is a, a part of this. Meaning that he destroyed their path. When you get baptized in the name of Jesus, your enemies are in the bottom of that pool. Your past is in the bottom of that pool. Huh? That's where you bury everything. When you get baptized, now they, they brought them out, the enemy pursued them. Let me try to explain this. The enemy tried to pursue. He's going to pursue you. Now check this out. The devil don't guard to nothing that ain't good. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Let me say it again. The devil don't guard to nothing that ain't got no value. Amen. So if he's chasing you, it's all good. Because God has put something in you that he wants back. Baptism destroys your past. If you haven't been baptized, you should get baptized. Amen. It releases you to start your new journey. Amen. It releases you to begin. It releases you to start. Yes. Yes. And it destroys the enemy yes. on the spot. Because what God got you walking into, the devil can't follow. Right. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Come on. Huh? Y'all don't hear me. What the devil, what God opened up for you. Didn't he part the Red Sea? Yes. Huh? Did he open it up? Is that the word? He opened it up, right? Now, I would expect that the ground to be mushy. Something you can't walk on. See, the devil opened it up. You'd be slipping, sliding, falling, tripping. It would be muddy. You would be sinking. But my God, God... Put a sure foundation under your feet. Oh, so you can walk through confidently, mother. Huh? So when he, when he departed it, he dried it too. So he can give you a foundation. He just don't do, God don't do things halfway. He don't do it one way and forget, oh, I forgot to, I forget to do that. I forget to put stuff away. My wife tell me that all the time. I try to blame it on 55 and over. <laughs> That's my excuse in Jesus' name. <laughs> yeah. You got it too? They, just, they gave us a title for that disease yet. I'm waiting. I'm searching. But God don't forget. 
God don't, don't leave it half done. Amen. God don't open it with a crack. So you got to squeeze through. He said, I set before you what? Open it. 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 You ain't got to tiptoe either. No. Ain't no t don't tiptoe to God. He said, come boldly. Huh? You better act like you want something. You better act like you want something from God. You come boldly to the throne of grace. Boldly me, I'm tired. And I'm tired of being tired. I need help. Amen. I'm the first. Amen. But he parted the Red Sea. He made the ground dry. The, the, the ground dry. Now, so you now. can walk over. That's you being baptized. Yes, yes, yes. So when you get over, that's you coming up. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Huh? Come when you on. come up, the devil can't come with you. He can't go down. He can try to follow you. It's an escape for you. It's an entrapment for him. Amen. Feel me? Amen. You can leave your dead stuff over there. Amen. You can leave it in the pool. And God will not let it to follow you. So. That's the, that's the picture of baptism. And it says, if you don't see it, you, you, you read verse 12. It says, thou stretched out thy right hand, and the earth swallowed them. Verse 12 of the 15th chapter. God will swallow up your past. God will swallow up your pain. God will part ways. Make, remember I said, make a way out of no way. But leave the past behind. He will open a way to have peace, sister. And leave the hurt behind. He'll do that. He'll open it up. He'll stretch it out. And swallow it up. Because he doesn't want that to follow you. Any further. Amen. Now when you get on the other side. And I'm closing. And I wanted to read this whole thing. But it didn't go that way. And I'm okay. In verse 22, you run into some bitter things. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's a whole other sermon. So I'm just chip a piece off of it. Sometimes I believe that's where some of the saints are at in Bitterville. Hallelujah. Huh? Maybe y'all ain't in the same church. I've been there. You can't stay bitter forever. Huh? You, you may pass into it. After God brought you out of something, you go through something else. Just because you, you go through, just because you find God, don't mean you're not going to go through something else. Come I don't want to paint a rosy picture. Yeah. You still going to have battles. You still going to have fights. You still going to have letdowns. But my God, you got somebody that'll hold you up. Huh? Thinking, Brother Hans may call on me, I may call on him, and we may, neither one of us may answer. But when I call on the name, Jesus. Amen. He will answer. Amen. There ain't no wait time. Please push three if you want this. No, sir. Come on now. Make it clean. Yes, sir. Make it clean. Please push two if you want this. One for English, two for Spanish. He ain't got none of those options. You just need to call on him. You just need to call on him. He know your tongue. He know your language. He know your dialect. He know everything. He interprets on the spot. When you can't get a word and it's just a moan, mm, he can read that too. Come on, man. Thou stretchest out thy hand and the earth swallowed up. I want you to say to yourself, it's swallowed up now. Huh? What followed me here is swallowed up now. It's swallowed up now. Because God opened it up. So only I can get out. That's not spiritual enough for you. 
Look at Lazarus. Death tried to swallow him up. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Come forth. He will call you by name. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hey, huh? thank you, Jesus. All right, all right. Let's just all you say, I know yeah. your name. Yes, right. Is that was it Tasha Carl? Thank you, Jesus. Call. I know your name. name. I forget names in a minute. I bet pray for that one in the blue suit. <laughs> <laughs> Just be real. Amen. I got limitations. Amen. I serve a God that is limitless. Jesus. Where I fall, he begins. Amen. Actually, he starts before I start because he knew the end from the beginning. So he knows the beginning from the end. Amen. It's swallowed up now. But, they, but he led him to a bitter place. Saints of God, we can't stay bitter. We can't stay bitter. Huh? And they murmured to Moses. I'm just paraphrasing, but if you read 22 through 26, you'll see this. But then God said, take him to the tree or cut down a tree. And it took the bitterness and made it sweet. Oh, it's about to change for you. Huh? He didn't bring you out to stay bitter. He didn't allow you to escape to stay mad. He didn't bring you through the wilderness and cut off all your past through water baptism for you not to get through this bitter stage. Thank you. You know, my mama used to always say if they give you lemons, you make lemonade. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You got to taste it differently now. Yes, yes. You got to taste it differently now. Yes, yes. He, he's going to have a, every time he takes you through something, the taste will be different. Hallelujah. Because it means something different to you now. But when we, when we put that sweetener in, it tastes different. Yes, What I like about God, he ain't got to use a substitute. Amen. Sweeter than the day. At least how he gets sweeter than he already was. Song says, uh, He's sweet. I know. I know. He's sweet. I know. You got to know it. I ain't going to see the rest. I'm going to kill the spirit. That's all I got. <laughs> Just being transparent, just the hands, right? <laughs> Staying in my lane. Huh? I hold a note as long as a stranger doing. That's it for me, mother. <laughs> he gonna make it sweet. As you go through, he's gonna make it sweet. He gonna change it. You know how we're going to know? Because this whole church will be running and shouting. Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. We're we on, we on the verge of that now. Because, because we're all going through something. And we're tired. Hallelujah. Overburdened. Overworked. Hallelujah. Stressed out. Talked about. Put down. Tired of being cut off. Tired of being poked off. Tired of going through. But one day, it's going to get sweet. Yeah. And it's going to feel like fire shot up in our bones. Yeah. And we'll all be on one accord. And the Spirit of God is going to rain down power over the house of God. He's going to turn your tears into praise. Huh? You can cry now. That's just softening the soil. Oh, see, 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 you got to learn that. Huh? The tears soften the soil. You provide the moisture for what he planted to come forth. He don't want a weed. A weed will come up anyway. You ain't got to have no water. But when it's a flower about to break through, it takes the proper things to get it to come forth through the earth. So you're about to come out. 
All the tears, all the pain, all the suffering, all the disappointment, all the letdown, my change is coming. Because my past is buried. My past has been overturned. I left it in my baptism. I left it at the bottom of the pool. And God brought me out. As I go through on this life's journey, I run into that bitter place. I want you to remember that section in Exodus 15, 23 through 26. You may murmur, you may complain, but if you can praise, he'll turn the bitter to sweet. He'll change it. He'll change it. He'll change it. Saints, he'll change it. He didn't bring you up to have you down and out. He didn't bring you out like that. He didn't bring you through. Yes, you in it, but you ain't staying in it. And you got to claim it that you're not staying there. Because the devil will make you think that you're staying there. Huh? He'll give you little fake substances to make you feel like you're being fed and nourished. And it's okay. and It's all right. He even come by and try to give you some comfort. He know the word. He fakes a three dollar bill. He twisting it to make you think it's right. You don't believe me? Check what he did to Jesus. I'm in the word. He tried to trick God with his own word. He wrote it. Before the foundation of the world. But yet, because his former name was Lucifer, and he sang praises to God, he thought he knew the word. Saints of God, you're coming out. All those that haven't been baptized, I encourage you to be baptized. And leave your past behind. And come to be the man and the woman that God would have you to be. You haven't even reached your full potential yet. Huh? You haven't reached that yet. The devil's trying to block you from that. But God said, I come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone that desire prayer, please come forward.